everybody, it's Missy from Shimmers again, and I have something super fun to show you for fall. And all you need is some coffee filters. I'm going to show you how to make some really beautiful, fun, and easy leaves using coffee filters and just about any of your Shimmers products. I've got some aqua hues here to start with, and I'm just dabbing it right onto the plastic that I have here on my background. And then I'm just using the coffee filter to soak it up, kind of like a paper towel. That is an aqua hues and it's in seeing red. I have a couple of sprays I'm gonna use here. Vibes Pop Art Pink, Vibes Sweetheart. I'm gonna use Spritz Caribbean Sunset. And I'm just doing this with no rhyme or reason, just spraying it on. And you can see the coffee filter gets really wet, but it's it doesn't rip, it's pretty sturdy. So have something set aside so you can put it out of the way. I don't want to waste any of that paint that I have there, so I'm going to use a new filter and dab it up and then come in with some different colors. This is Jenny B. Blue Vibes, one of my favorites. This is Colorings in Well Blue Me Down. And I'm just trying to play around with different color schemes here. I like to get different types of leaves. Uh, depends on the color scheme you're going for. And um, it's just... This is super fast. It didn't take me long at all. That is Inklings, good as gold. Any way you want to get the color on there is is perfectly fine. You can brush it, you can spray it, you can dab it, whichever. There's no right or wrong way to do this. I'm doing some splattering here with that really gorgeous gold. I love it. I decided to try some brown ones. I hadn't played with any of my brown colors in a while. This is Vibes and Hot Fudge. Spritz in Sea Latte, Vibes Glorious Day, and this is some Brass Knuckles. That's an Inklings that I'm brushing on there, and you are not going to believe the shimmer. That gorgeous color right there is Quit Your Whining, and that is a Vibes. And when these are dry, you guys are going to just flip out. When you see the shimmer, when I finished this and I saw the shimmer, my eyes popped out of my head. It was so gorgeous. I love that color. Look at how pretty. These are true fall colors, and oh my goodness, once this is finished, you're going to love it. I give a little bit of heat gun here to the coffee filters. They're starting to dry and get a little crunchy. Look at how shimmery and sparkly this is. Oh, I love it, you guys. As you can see here, you could do any color scheme you want, and you don't necessarily have to do leaves. You could cut any shape you want from this. But I was very pleasantly surprised at how well the coffee filters held up. Uh, they almost felt like vellum. Um, very, very cool. I think each one of these is so pretty. You can see the splatters there from the gold. But since this is fall, this is something that you could do for leaves. Now, once everything is dry, they're going to get a little crunchy again. I'm just amazed by that beautiful shimmer from Quit Your Wine and it's so pretty. So you could do a couple things here. You could cut these freehand. I have something that I used for another project where I used my Cameo to cut some leaves. I used a gold pen and just traced it right on there and then I'm gonna cut it out. Super, super simple. And you have to be careful because the coffee filter is pretty thin. It's easy to cut. But look at that, so easy. This would look so pretty on a project. I cannot wait to use these on a layout. I decided to just forego the tracing and just kind of freehand it and cut several different types of leaves here, different shapes. So I took some time and cut out leaves from all of these different colors. I'm gonna show you here in a second how beautiful they turned out. And this took me less than 10 minutes to do all this. Look at how pretty these are. You guys, look at that shimmer. Oh. I'm sorry, I get excited when I see shimmer and I'm just blown away at how pretty these look. And they're very thin, they feel like real leaves. I just had to play with them for a few minutes. So, so pretty. You could also add more texture by bending them, wadding them up and opening them back up. You could probably stitch through these on a layout or a project, it would look gorgeous. I also decided to make some feathers. Check this out. I have some of those fringe scissors. Cut the coffee filter beautifully. Look at that. Oh my goodness, you guys. You have to try this. You have to try this. Look at how pretty. I have some still shots coming up. I think I want to do this again just because it was so much fun and everything turned out so pretty. Look at these leaves. 
I'm, I'm not kidding. This took less than 10 minutes. You guys have to try this. I cannot contain my excitement. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you try it. I hope you cut leaves, circles, squares, any shape you want. You can see how fun and beautiful this turned out. So let me know if you have any questions about any of these products. I used a lot of different colors here. So let me know if you have any questions, and uh, make sure you check out Shimmer's Paints. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.